Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomasenson.com and today is another episode of Unstructured Data Quick Tips. So today's question comes in as a follow-up from a video I did in the past where we were working from the CLI and you could see me auto-completing certain scripts and being able to see what different options were for easy commands. And so this question actually came in, I, I didn't really understand it at first, I was like, you know, it's almost second nature to me, so I thought it'd be great to share with everybody to show just how you can look and find different scripts all from the CLI. So if you want to follow along, make sure that you're logged into your 1FS cluster and then pull up an SSH so that you can follow along and watch how I do some of the commands. Before we jump in and talk about how you can do the autocomplete, I think it's kind of good to go through and see from a Linux perspective how you can use autocomplete and how it kind of works with 1FS to be able to show you your different options. So if you think about it here, so I'm going to just use an LS for my directory here in my Windows box. And you can see, all right, so I've got these different scripts. So let's say that we wanted to move a certain directory, right? So let's say that we're going to move that college table.txt. So what I can do is type in col, and then I'm going to type the tab button. And the tab button is going to kind of autocomplete here, right? Well, if I wanted to do image, so I've got a couple of images here. So it's going to autocomplete to image because there's three other things that could be image, right? And so as you start typing in, let's say we did image net. Now it's going to say, all right, here's your options. Now if I did underscore, since there's only one underscore, it's going to autocomplete with this winner 11 urls.tgz, right? So, you know, it's been around, been a part of Linux for a while. So, you know, so if you're ever trying to autocomplete or trying to move things and you don't want to type, you just use that tab command in Linux. And normally it always works. There might be some distributions where it doesn't work. But that's kind of a given, right? Like something we've kind of taken for granted if you've been in Linux for a long time. But if you're new to it, you might not know that. So that's specifically how it works from a Linux perspective. Now let's jump into 1FS and see how autocomplete and how some of those options work. So here I am logged back into my 1FS environment. And now I'm going to type in, we're going to use the Izzy SMB shares command. And so here... This is the command for you know what we're going to do from an SMB share. Now, if we type in tab here, auto completes the shares because I did the command wrong. And now I'm going to type tab again, and it gives me options here, right? So now it shows me all the things that I can do from this perspective here, which this is really great, right? This is, hey, you know, instead of having to have the manual out or having you know your your administrative guide or having to remember all these commands as well, this gives you some options, right? So if you can start getting some of those commands correct you can dive in and see how you want to go. So let's do the list. So I've got list here and I'm just going to type in list and use that command. And so you can see, you know, we were able to type in the list, auto complete it there. But what happens if we want to dig in even further in this list command? So type in tab. So I typed in tab and now it's giving me the options here, right? So it's saying that I can do even some of the modifiers here, or add parameters for descending, sort, verbose. Let's do the verbose here. So you can see that that just gives me more options as well. So this is just one example of how, you know, as you're going through and looking to, you know, use these commands, you can actually use that tab to say, hey, I don't really remember this command or I kind of understand where it is, but it works. I mean, we're just showing an example here with the Izzy shares, but let's see what happens when we do Izzy. And you can see the whole list of commands here as they start digging in, right? So I just type that tab and I can go into cloud, see what my options are there, archive, and looks like that's the last one. But you can see how it can help you. And it's almost like, you know, if you ever have a background in Linux, you always know that you type in man or, you know, there's different commands if you're, you know, doing something from the command line in uh, Windows. But this is just another helpful option to be able to do it. So hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope this is helpful for folks that didn't know. It's something that took me about six months to pick up on when I started diving into 1FS. So hopefully this kind of catapults you and gives you an option to be able to type your commands out faster. If you have any ideas for the show, make sure you put it in the comment section here below. And then also let me know if I got something right, if I got something wrong, or, you know, what you think about these quick tips. <laughs>